Hello and welcome to my Cerberus guide for 2024. So today we're going to be going over a reclined melee method where you can expect to get anywhere from like 8 to 10 kills a trip. Maybe a little bit more if you have a, some other items. But um, just starting off some basic requirements to kill Cerberus. You need a Hellhound Slayer task. As you can see up here, I'm assigned Hellhounds. I started with 196. You get pretty large tasks. Um... The gear I'm using, uh, obviously the Slayer Helm. Blood Fury is pretty important here if you want to stay for longer trips. I'm using the Arc Light. Uh, alternatively, you could use um, you could use a Fang on Slash. You could also use the Scythe. You could use the Blade of Salador. Um, I recommend the Arc Light. It's basically made for this boss. You can hit up to 56s in my gear. So, I'm just wearing Bandos, Ferocious Gloves. Got the Primordial Boots. I have a light bearer, a uh, fire cape, a vernic, arc light, and uh, the inventory. I go with about, you know, eight to nine prayer pots. I bring a teleport to house, a taverly teleport, food, and then importantly, I bring the void waker and the spectral. If you don't have the money for the spectral, I would recommend buying a Sarah God sword and replacing the void waker with the Sarah God sword. That way you can. Uh, Go ahead and heal yourself with that spec. It heals prayer and HP. So using a Saradome and God Sword is a really good method for Cerberus. If I had the extra money, I would be using one instead of the Void Waker. I'm not going to sell my Void Waker just for the task because I use this at a lot of other bosses. But uh, essentially, you need a Hellhound task. Um, it's a pretty reclined method. And... Uh, you could also move your house to Taverly, so you don't have to bring Taverly teleports. You could just leave your house portal and you'd be in Taverly. Um, my house is in Remington, so I do not have that luxury. I can move it, but I'm a little bit lazy. Like I said, this is a recline method, so let's go ahead and break our teleport tab and let's move on over to Cerberus. So from the Taverly house portal, you just run south till you can get into the Taverly dungeon. I use the floor shortcut, but I think you need 80 agility for this. So if you don't have 80 agility, it's going to be a haul. You're going to have to run all the way around. Um, but hopefully you have 80 agility. This is a 91 Slayer requirement to kill Cerberus. So a lot of main accounts be doing Cerberus. Um, I highly recommend getting 80 agility, like I said. So now we're in the Cerberus layer once you enter that cavern. And... You can, there's three different instances. In order to see if anybody's in there, you can right click on the winch that you use to open the door and you can peek, see if there's any players in there. There's a player inside this one. So let's go ahead and check the middle one. And no adventure is inside the lair, so we're gonna enter. I set my quick prayers. Since we're using melee, um, and Cerberus uses magic a lot, I set my prayers to protect from magic and piety. So it's nice and easy one click. Um, really, Cerberus is an easy boss, but the the ghosts are the tricky part. That's why I have the spectral. It helps, you know, elongate the trip. So when you get in here, pot up. I like to stand on the corner of Cerberus's tile because he can use an attack called Gur. And he'll throw a lava pool where you're standing, so you can just move two tiles over and still attack the boss uninterrupted. So this is our example kill. The arc light shreds this guy. The blood fury it procs all the time for some reason. So really recommend using the blood fury. It heals you. So here we go. He outrood. So that means the ghosts are coming out. So you can either tank one of the ghosts. I like to pray against all three. The second you see your prayer drop you need to switch to the next prayer. So actually, funny enough, we can't use that side of the boss right now because there's lava pools spread evenly out. So you're gonna take damage anytime you're adjacent to one of those pools or standing right on it. Prayer's getting a little low, drink a prayer pot. It's really as simple as clicking the boss and just watching your HP and, and prayer. So he messed us up a little bit that kill, but you know, we still got through it. 
And that's really it to the boss. Um, like I said, the biggest trick is protecting against the ghosts. So we'll do another example kill here. Dump the Void Waker specs. This thing slaps, that's why I bring it. He's gonna Aru pretty soon. Yup. He usually does it about halfway through the kill. All right, Prey Melee first, Prey Range second, Prey Magic third. And the second that I see my Prayer level drop, I start switching my prayer style. Simple as that. Really. And he girds, so that's when we're gonna run away from the corner and we're still attacking him. So that's why I like to stand on the corners because he's always going to put a lava pool underneath you. But as long as you step two tiles away, you're good and you won't be damaged. That's what happens if you fuck up the ghosts. Uh. So, we ended up getting 10 kills that trip. I died at the end, but that'll happen if you're trying to flick against all of the ghosts and you manage to be off a tick or two because you're just taking 30 damage from all the ghosts. Um, really, really recommend buying the Spectral if you plan on camping Cerberus. It's just you know about 50 mil right now which is pretty expensive but you know if you plan on grinding this boss you know you don't have to bring as many prayer pots and go through as many prayer pots because this spectral it's going to reduce the prayer drain from 30 to 15 from the ghosts so you're only you know tanking 45 prayer points instead of 90 so really recommend getting the spectral if you want to camp this boss uh you can expect to see you know a crystal every task because they're one in 120 drop rate and really that's where the money comes from if you check out my loot tracker i have 574 servers in my loot tracker i have two pagage two sorry two primordials two eternals a smoldering stone and three pagasians so you can expect to see a crystal or two every task so you just pray and hope that it's not the pagasian but even if it is uh, there's another crystal around the corner, so don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so we ended up still getting 10 kills that trip. Not bad. Could have got 11, maybe 12, but, you know, I died. Um, it happens. And another thing that I would recommend when you're dying, save your Keymaster Teleports for when you die. Uh, it's a drop 1 in 64 from Cerberus. So if you check this out, I'll go and grab one. Right here, Keymaster Teleport. You click this, and it literally teleports you to the server's lair. So your grave would be like right here. Um, so I recommend keeping those for when you need to go reclaim your grave. Um, you can also use it just for faster trips, but honestly, running from Taverly, it's not that big of a deal. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching this Recline Cerberus guide. You can expect anywhere from 10 to 12 kills a trip. Um, Using the Arc Light, of course. If you have a Sarah God Sword instead of the Void Waker, you might be able to get even 15 kills a trip. But I don't have that money right now, so I splurged and bought the Spectral. Like I said, um, highly recommend that item if you want to camp Cerberus. So thank you for watching my guide, and good luck to everybody.